Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shiko. If you're new here, you're very much welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. On today's video, first of all, kindly subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. This video is a bit different. I am going to be sharing with you guys something about faith. So I want to be sharing faith videos and um about my relationship with Christ so because that is like my purpose in life I love sharing about Christ and this is the best platform for me I hope that you guys are going to enjoy the videos and yes let's dive in <laughs> in case you're wondering I did film this tutorial for you guys so um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload it before this or after this but do turn on your notifications so that when I upload it you will be notified just um, click on the cabel thing yes and you will be notified so yesterday I was reading this verse in 2nd Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 the verse that I think most of us know it about how we we do not we have not been given a spirit of fear but a spirit of boldness and many versions say different things about that verse but when I was reading it yesterday and I compared versions I really got some insight and I was like I need to share this and yeah this is how we are here doing this video so I'm gonna read for you guys that verse and I'll read different versions and then we'll just flow. <laughs> Before that, we should pray. So let's just say a quick prayer. Uh, dear Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to share your word with these um, people who are viewing this. I pray, Jehovah King of Glory, that as we study the word of God, you're going to use me as a vessel, Jehovah Lord. Let everything that I say, Jehovah Lord, be words that bring life to these people who are watching, oh God. Let them speak hope. Let them speak peace in their lives, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, King of Glory, that your Holy Spirit will take over to teach us something new and to refresh us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Amen. I'm on my Bible app. Today, this Bible app that I've been using is amazing. This is how it looks like. Um, this it has plants bible plants that you can do devotions with it is and, and and you can compare when you read a verse you can compare the different versions and that really helps to understand the context and what the verse is talking about let me read another version kjv says god has not given us a spirit of fear but of love power and sound mind so one says sound mind another one says self-discipline um another one says god did not give us a spirit of timidity or cowardice or fear but he has given us a spirit of power of love sound judgment personal discipline and it explains personal discipline as abilities that result in calm well balanced mind and self-control I actually like this one fear is so powerful fear is a tool that the enemy can use to destroy us if we are not careful I personally struggle a lot with being consistent and being self-disciplined in terms of um, let's say maintaining a consistent routine in something for example working out the lo for the longest time I have been saying I need to be working out like daily sometimes or, or like waking up early because i'm not that much of a morning person and other things and when i was reading this verse in this version that says so when i was reading the niv version that says god has given us power love and self-discipline that self-discipline thing hit me i was like wait so i it's actually the spirit of god who helps us to become self-disciplined and I realized I guess this is why I have really been struggling because I've been trying to do it on my own I've been I've been saying you know she go tomorrow I am going to wake up and I am going I'm going to wake up early I even set my alarm and I'm gonna start with a devotion then I'm gonna do my workout and you know there's this whole list of things that I desire to do but honestly mostly I fail at it because 
I realized I have been relying on my own strength to do it. But here in this verse, it tells us that it is the spirit of God who gives us power, love, and self-discipline. So even self-discipline, it is something that we should depend on God to help us in. It reminds me how God has truly given us a helper, the Holy Spirit, to help us in everything. And I mean everything. Whatever you're trying to be consistent in, whatever you're trying to discipline yourself in, whether it's purity, whether it's... Um, money in how you handle money on your own you can't god wants us to rely on him and on his power in everything that we do in every single aspect of our lives god wants us to involve him in order for the holy spirit to help us because god i want us to struggle on our own he is that's why he gave us the holy spirit as our helper on this amplified bible version let me i'll read the same verse for God did not give us a spirit of timidity, and they explain timidity as cowardice of craven and cringing and fawning fear, but he has given us a spirit of power, love and calm and well-balanced mind and discipline and self-control. What I got from this version is fear is brought by a spirit, of course the enemy, the devil, and also boldness power faith are also brought by the spirit of god and this is a very important point so if you are struggling with fear and anxiety esteem issues or um not being confident enough is maybe because you don't have the spirit of god who brings courage who brings boldness who brings self-control who brings self-discipline because um if you're not born again you you don't you you don't have the spirit you don't have the holy spirit we receive the holy spirit when we receive christ so first thing i want to challenge you guys or to encourage you if you have not received christ that is the first step in overcoming fear and in overcoming depression and anxiety because when we receive christ we get the we receive the holy spirit we receive the holy spirit um he gives us power he gives us strength he is the one who helps us in everything so if you're trying to overcome fear on your own if you're trying to overcome anxiety on your own it won't work we need a savior and this being the easter season the best time for you to receive christ i mean you, it's it's the best gift you can ever give yourself the peace the joy that the holy spirit gives that is everything so yeah that was the first point fear is a spirit faith courage is also brought by the spirit of god so if you have not received christ and you don't have the holy spirit um just believe you don't have to wait for someone to come or you don't have to go somewhere for someone to pray over you or someone to lay hands on you it is just believing in ephesians 2 verse 8 to 9 the bible says for by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves but the gift of god not works lest anyone should boast so we receive christ by faith you just believing that Jesus is Lord, he died on the cross for me, and I accept him, and I invite him to my life. That is all you need. If you have not received Christ, I totally encourage you to accept him as your personal savior, and just enjoy the peace and joy that comes from receiving Christ. The first version I read, this verse, the King James Version, it was saying God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power love and sound mind the bible says that the enemy comes to kill steal and destroy the enemy wants to steal our purpose steal our joy destroy our lives and the best way he does this is by bringing fear because that spirit of fear will make you so doubtful so anxious that you cannot even make important decisions so when i was reading this verse and i saw that the spirit of god gives has given us or gives us a sound mind I was like, a lot of times when you are doubting your judgment, your ability to do the right thing or to make the right decision out of fear, 
we really should remember that the spirit God has given us, the Holy Spirit, has given us a sound mind. And that should give us enough confidence to go after the things that God has called us for, to pursue our dreams. There are times I get a client and I am intimidated. I feel like, wow, especially if it's a celebrity, sometimes I'm like, guy, will they like my makeup? As in, they start just kafia. Especially if you've been brought up in a not so well background, there's that kafia. My pastor likes to call it, what does he call it? Smallness mentality. These big doors can open for you. And if you don't deal with that smallness mentality, the enemy will use it to make you feel like I am so unqualified for this. I, I am the last person they should give this job. I'm just gonna, gonna mess it up. And that will make you not even to perform the way you are supposed to be performing. And it's just something that is brought by fear. And something that has affected me, as I was saying, I can get a client and eh, that smallness mentality creeps in. And, and even if you talk up, I feel like, no, I should not be doing this makeup thing. I think I should just get another job. I am tired, as in it is so bad, fear is so bad. We want to live in boldness, I want to be courageous, I want to live in this reality that I have been given a spirit of power, a spirit of boldness, and, and, and it is my desire also that even as you listen to this, you will be encouraged and motivated as well to kick out fear and live by the power of the Holy Spirit. So when I saw this um, covers that says, that the spirit also gives us a sound mind i was like man this is this is a very important thing when you get that job and you're tempted to feel like you are not qualified for it or whatever assignment you get just remind yourself that you have been given a sound mind and that sound mind that spirit of god has given you that sound mind lives in you and he's going to help you if, if, if it's decisions you need to make in your line of work, if it's solutions you need to provide, whatever it is, you have the mind for that. You have the mind of God. You know, this is also something that tends to make us ruin relationships. Like you can pray God that God, I really need, this is the kind of man I want or this is the kind of partner I want. And God brings them and you start looking for loopholes, a lot of them and looking for mistakes because deep down you feel like no i don't deserve this person i think why 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 did they choose me why me there's there's a problem with them because of that self-doubt because of that smallness i mean why not you why not you this is something I've, i keep speaking to myself why not me when i get a job that intimidates me and I feel like I'm underqualified for, I remind myself that why not me? I mean, I, I, I have the mind of Christ. Some of these things you just need to practice and speak them until they come to life. It's not that you'll just read, oh, God has given me a spirit of sound mind and you when and you will the fear will creep in again and the cycle will continue. So it really takes a lot of um, you speaking it until it comes to existence until it becomes your your thing it becomes your reality yeah so if you're struggling with fear and anxiety i have struggled with anxiety a lot because i don't have like a place i go to work daily some seasons can be so frustrating and i'm waking up and i'm like what next is my life always going to be like this and the, the thing that encourages me in such times is God has said in Jeremiah 29, he knows the plans that he has for us and they are plans for good and not for evil to give us a hope and a future. And um, I just speak this to myself and say, Shiko, God has a plan for you. Even if right now you don't know what it is, it's okay not to know. It's okay not to have the fine details and to trust in God's plan. Because for example, right now, people had plans. People are like, oh, Hey Moezi, this month, this is what and what and what I plan to achieve and look at us right now at home, stuck, quarantine. But at the end of the day, even after this, God will still fulfill his plan. God will still do that which he intended to do. 
in our lives nothing stops anything that god wanted to do he's i mean he's the one who who knows he knows all things and if you don't have a plan right now it's okay just trust that god 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 got you god knows god knows and he feels what you're feeling he feels the uh, uncertainty but he just wants you to trust him and to know that he has a great plan for you all he requires for us is obedience if god tells you to do something just obey even if it's painful even if it's hard obey and in that obedience he will take you from one level to another as he establishes his plan for your life and his purpose for your life rest rest in christ you know i came I, I came to accept that sometimes you know i'll just be home and it's okay i will use that time to develop myself i will use that time to read a book i will use that time to know god more for example if you're still looking for a job don't cry yourself out every day that oh god i need a job oh god i need he says he knows you know even before we ask he knows and again uh, you've got to remember that God has given you a sound mind and he's also given you a discerning spirit meaning God has placed ideas and you he has given you the ability and the mind to know um, his will you know and when you seek his will will he will reveal himself to you he will give you ideas he will give you he will show you what he wants with your life and in the and when you pursue when you pursue god and when you pursue um his purpose the purpose that he has um laid out for you that's how you're going to be successful so no need to worry no need don't feel the pressure to do so much or you know this person is doing this and why am i not doing that they're gonna pass me no you do what you've been called for god is gonna bless you in that so don't don't be anxious do not live in fear live in boldness live in confidence that even though right now you may not have the things that you'd want or you're not you're not in the place that you'd want to be in life as long as you're obedient and as long as you are totally sold out to jesus he will reveal his plans he will help you achieve your dreams he will bless you there is nothing that you will lack because God knows, he knows your needs and he will provide. It's important for us to live a day at a time. We, even, we are even reminded in the Bible that we don't know about tomorrow. So today, um, live an obedient life today. You need today. You will not sleep hungry. You know, God will give you that which you need. So do not overthink about the future. Know that your future is secure in Jesus. Amen ours is to do what is expected of us which is being obedient and leaving the rest to christ and walking in freedom and walking in faith and overcoming fear and walking living a life of freedom knowing that jesus knows us he loves us and he has the best for us so i hope that somewhere in all these things that i have said i feel like i've spoken about so many things but i hope that you have been encouraged and there is something you have gotten out of it all that if you're struggling with self-discipline whatever you're struggling with when you do it out of your own strength you will fail but when you rely and you invite the holy spirit to help you even in the smallest of things he is our helper he will help you uh, in our, on our own strength we can't that's why we have a helper so yeah that is what i wanted to share with you guys i hope you enjoyed this video kindly leave me a comment let me know if you like this kind of content if i should do more i will still do more either way but yeah an encouragement would go a long way thank you so much for watching up to this far i will see you guys in my next video can you subscribe to this channel if you haven't bye